Hey everybody. Today I want to show you a few ways to observe the upcoming solar eclipse. So I've got a couple of things set up here. I think you can enjoy it. Some of them you can do at home. Some of them might take a little bit of setting up to do. So let's check out the first one. The first thing that I set up here is a simple pinhole camera. And what I did was I took just a regular old box. I cut a small square hole out of it. It's about two inches square. And I taped a piece of index card to it. Uh, I didn't pop a hole right through the cardboard because that gives you a fuzzier edge. So I wanted to just get this tiny little hole here and I just used a pencil point to push this hole through. So I have this white board just propped against the wall just so that it has a nice screen to project onto. And here is the cardboard sheet that I have with the pinhole right there. And as I bring it in against the board, you can see the tiny little projection there. Now, that projection is an actual image of the sun. Now, it doesn't look like very much because the sun is just a round circle right now. But as the eclipse happens, this tiny dot is gonna turn into a crescent moon and more and more of it is going to disappear as the eclipse happens. Here's one of my favorite pinhole camera effects. Got it right here. Doesn't take any prep, just go into your kitchen, grab it a regular old spaghetti strainer. And when you take it and bring it over to your board, you can see all these tiny little projections. And when the eclipse starts to happen, each of these dots will turn into this really cool little crescent moon shape. And uh, you'll just have a million little eclipses happening on the board. This next pinhole camera takes a little bit of setting up to do, but it works really nicely. All you need is a box that you can fit over your head, cut a hole that's large enough to fit your head through. On one side of the box, I cut a square hole about two inches wide, and I taped some index card to the hole. And you can see I popped a very small hole out just taped it on the outside and I made the pinhole with just the tip of a pencil. On the opposite side, I have a projection screen, just a sheet of computer paper that I taped inside the box opposite of the pinhole. And then I've got a hole here, which is offset so that when I stick my head through the hole, I don't block the projection. All right, so let's see if I can try this out while holding the camera. This will be something else. I hope nobody's watching me here. So I've got the box here, and I am putting my head into the box. Like that. There we go. Got my head in the box. Now, come on in and visit me. Oh, this is really cool. This is really cool. So look at there. You can see a projection of the sun, but also look at that. There's some clouds drifting by and you can see the image of the cloud. So it actually is projecting the image that we see out there. So this is really neat and we can watch the clouds drift by and then the sun will come out in its full brightness and you can see that it is a round circle. And again, as the eclipse comes on, you will see uh, it turn into a crescent shape. Look at that, you can see the cloud drifting by. So this is the image as seen inside the box and you can see the clouds drifting by and the sun is coming from behind the clouds. And this is a completely safe way to view the eclipse. And then of course, you've got the eclipse glasses that a lot of people are going to have. So these are different than regular sunglasses. These are really, really dark glasses. Let's take a look, see what it looks like. So here are the eclipse glasses. And if you first, you don't see anything. But when you look up towards the sun, you can definitely see it. It's safe to watch. And let's see if I can zoom in, see if we can see anything with this. 
And this is what it looks like through the glasses. This is magnified a few times and completely safe to watch through the, um, through the glasses. Oh, and there's a cloud drifting by and that's really neat. You can see that happening. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit click and subscribe. I, I don't know what that means. They all say that. But uh, I, I hope you got some good ideas and you have time to prepare and get a few of these things together. Uh, even if you are not seeing the total eclipse, if you're getting a partial eclipse where you are, you can definitely see uh, quite a bit. So watch the eclipse carefully. Make sure you do it safely. Do not look directly at the sun at any time during the partial eclipse, except when it's in totality. Uh, any other time, it's not safe to look at it at all. So you could use these indirect viewing methods with the pinhole camera, or you could use a direct viewing method using a, an eclipse sunglass, uh, either covering your eyes or covering your camera. Uh, it's also not safe to point your phone camera at the sun. You could burn out the camera sensor. So safe viewing, enjoy the eclipse.